Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to talk about the OCI Network Path Analyzer. I think it's a really handy tool. I've used it many times to troubleshoot uh, issues or maybe get some idea where the issue might be. A lot of times, obviously, you think that it's it's really nice to just uh, go and play around and find the problematic, uh, let's say, security list or routing. But you have this tool available. It's completely free, so I recommend to use it. So let's take a look how, how it works. So to troubleshoot today, I built uh, two VCNs. On the left side, I have the first VCN and on the right side, the second VCN. They are both connected through DRG, so Dynamic Routing Gateway. Nowadays with the DRG version 2, you usually route the traffic uh, through the DRG and not, not the uh, local peering gateways anymore. You can still do it, but I prefer to using a DRG whenever it's it's just possible. So I've created this, laid it out. So let's take a look on the path analyzer and then what problems we currently have with our setup. So I'm locked now to my OCI tenancy. Uh, if we take a look, where can we find the network path analyzer? Surprisingly, it's under networking. So let's go, let's go here. Uh, networking and then here I can I have the network command center I can go to the let's go first to the network command center and from here you can see I have the network visualizer which is really handy tool as well you can see like all the routes VCNs how they are connected but this time we are gonna look on the troubleshooting part so network path analyzer we'll just click it and then It'll give us this view and then we can start uh, troubleshooting our issue. I am on those both VCNs. I have uh, private subnets and then both of them has uh, one compute instance, which is running there. So we'll try to use those as you will, you will see. So I'll just uh, select my compartment. Uh, I have my playground compartment and then there's no previous path analysis done here. So I'll just create a new one. Let's give it the new uh, name, path analysis one uh, protocol. I could select the protocol, whatever I want to use. Let's use TCP this time. Oh, I could just select the SSH. So let's pick that one actually, since I'm going to try to troubleshoot why I can't connect via SSH. So I could enter the source IP address or I can, which is really handy, just find the OCR resource. Uh, I can select the type, so subnet VLAN uh, compute instance. So let's just pick the compute instance and then I could select different compartment. So I'm going to pick the uh, VCN1 uh, private compute instance. And then if I would have multiple VNIX, I could pick that one as well. And then, yeah, the source uh, IP, IP address can, can be seen here. Uh, let's, let's see what's under advanced. Okay, I could use different source ports as well. So let's just uh, leave the default in this case. So destination, again, I'm going to find OCR resource. Let's pick the compute instance. And if you would have a, like a load balancer, you could have the source as a load balancer, destination as compute. So that could be like one really common use case or test case as well. So now I'm going to pick the uh, second private instance and then uh, destination IP address is here. Uh, let's pick the bi-directional, so analyze both the forward and reverse paths. And then I can just click the run analysis. And let's see, oops, destination port, sorry. Good point. I thought that uh, when picking up the sources SSH, it would automatically fill this, but apparently not. All right, run analysis. And now it shows uh, summary here and I'll just click analyze. Let's see, did it start? Yeah, now it started. Uh, I'm just going to let it run and then continue once it's completed. So it completed now our analysis. So we can see here that actually the traffic leaves okay from the uh, subnet. So where the compute instance is. So we have a route table. Uh, which has a route towards the DRG, which handles nowadays all the all the routes towards the other other VCNs or on premises or whatever you connect. So DRG is that main main hub. 
So we see that the traffic uh, stops there. So the first problem seems to be with the DRG route table. So we can take a look what's actually there. So if we go here on the uh, DRG, uh, customer connectivity DRG, I have my own DRG for these ones. And then I have two attachments. So the VCN1 attachment, uh, which is basically what happens when the traffic comes from the VCN1 uh, to the DRG then that attachment has a route table which uh, routes the traffic forward and same the other way when traffic comes from vcn2 it should know uh, where it goes so if we take a look on this uh, analyzer one route table we can check here uh, all the route rules so let's see them oops <laughs> there's no routes so obviously somebody like me had forgotten to uh, add them there uh, let's take a look on the other route table so if we take a date i've added the static route here so you can see here that i have the route from uh, when the traffic comes from vcn2 it has a static route uh, towards the uh, analyzer one attachment so basically the connectivity to towards the uh, VCN1 what I have so let's go back to the uh, analyzer one uh, route table I could add a static route so here the static route would be that 10.10.0.0 10 uh, slash uh, 24 so then the traffic would go here or you can see on the uh, on the right uh, it would go uh towards this vcn from drg so let's go back to the screen and then this time i'm just gonna edit and then i can also enable this import route distribution so here it basically uh dynamically adds the vcn routes or subnet routes here uh, whatever you you have uh, allowed so i can just uh, enable this and then uh I'll click this uh, auto-generated import route distribution for all routes. So basically all routes uh, what are available, then it should get those. So let's save this, uh, get all the route rules. And then uh, I should soon see here the routes coming up. Let's try again. And there we go. Now you can see this routes towards all the subnets basically so uh, what i have so they are here now so let's go back i'll run the network path analyzer again and then let's see what the results are this time all right so now i'm been i've been running the path analyzer again so again from the uh, vcn1 compute instance to the vcn2 compute instance so now we can see that it's still unreachable but now i have two successful hops compared to one which i had previously so now we can see that the traffic goes uh, to drg and then it goes to the uh, attachment but then here on the vcn it it stops so let's take a look oops where where it actually goes uh, my mouse so here okay so we can see it goes from attachment one to attachment two okay and from attachment two it goes to the uh, private subnet but then routing status is green but security shows denied so this is actually pretty cool so now i can get details which i forgot to show earlier so routing forward it all good so egress allowed but then ingress access control status denied so and it also says here that uh, they could they couldn't find a matching security rule so on this security list so that brings us to our next problem which is obviously the uh the the security list 
So if we go here, let's go back to now. Let's go to net uh, VCNs. So I'll go on this VCN two, and then this uh, uh, private subnet here, and then this was the one which it mentioned that the private SL two didn't have any uh, rules. So here we can see the ingress rules. So we allow all the traffic within this VCN, which was 10.10. .10. So what if we add a rule here? Uh, let's allow also all the traffic from, uh, well, let's just allow the SSH traffic. So from the VCN one, let's put a good description there will add the rule. If you remember, the rules come into play immediately. So now we can go back here in the command center and we'll just create a new path analyzer here. I'll just uh, pause it and then uh, bring it back when it's ready. So now my third analysis uh, is completed. So we've so what we've done, we added the route on the DRG attachment route table. So it had the route. And now the second thing was the security list, which was uh, still giving that issue. So we added that I ran the analysis and now we can see it's reachable. So three hops, uh, you can see everything goes okay here. And then uh, we can see again, the diagram, uh, the information, so all the hopes here are now showing green. And then also the return path is analyzed. You can see it the opposite way. So from VCN2 going to VCN1 and everything, everything works there. And if I would like to, I can save the analysis. So now I have it uh, uh, stored here and then I can just rerun the analysis, analysis again if, if I want to. So really handy if you have some if you are doing some network modifications and you want to have like specific tests always to verify everything works, uh, this is totally doable. And you could have like, a, you can have like, or just remember, you can have also the IP address there. So if, if you want to analyze uh, further, you can just have like a specific IP address. Maybe it's not a computing load balancer or you want to reach uh, some other, let's say your on-premises server, that should be possible as well. Obviously it stops, like it can't show like detailed information outside OCI, but still you will see everything inside OCI. And that way uh, you'll be obviously sure that uh, that it works. Uh, so yeah, that was how I use the network path analyzer. I think it's really handy. Uh, still sometimes, I don't always remember that, hey, it's available. So maybe sometimes I start looking at security list, but after it came out, I've been using it more and more. And I think that's my number one tool. If there's a OCI specific network issue, you can start with that. Maybe it doesn't always help you, but at least you, you verify the issue. And then uh, you know that from the tool perspective where everything looks okay and or whatever. So use it. Try it out. You can you see it like it's really easy. At least uh, I'll keep on using it because it makes my life easier. Thanks for watching.